So as some of you may know, the last two weeks or so has been full of YouTube drama. But most specifically, the Ava Chris Tyson situation. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, I will sum it up real short and sweet. So Ava Chris, as I will call them, has been publicly ousted for messaging a minor of the age of 14. This dates back to like 2017, 2018, which uh, Ava Chris was an adult for sure by then. So this all came with picture proof of the messages sent between Ava Chris and the said minor. And the messages were said to have, you know, definitely crossed the line more than one occasion of being inappropriate. So since this, Ava has stepped back. They posted on their Twitter and said basically that they're going to take a break from social media and just kind of step away from things. Uh, you know, let the heat die down, of course, without actually admitting to any wrongdoing. And Mr. Beast also himself has posted on X and said that he's having a team of people investigate the situation fully to get down to everything to, you know, figure out what's going on. And um, as of whenever he was posting it, uh, Ava Chris was no longer with the company. But wait, there's more. So last week, there was a video made by an ex-Mr. Beast employee stating some crazy things. They were saying that his videos are basically faked in every way possible. The contestants aren't paid any money that it's given to friends and family instead. I mean, there was a lot of things. The video was very deep. I mean, check it out a little bit. I will show you irrefutable evidence in a minute that his videos are in fact fake. Step two is showing the viewers that when people interact with Mr. Beast in a way that benefits Mr. Beast, when they do what he tells them to do, they win big rewards. Is he subscribed? You are subscribed. Here's some money. Have a good day. Some of them feel like I just walk around with a thousand dollars. It's like, oh, thanks for watching my videos. Hit that subscribe button because you might bump into me in real life and it might make you a lot of money. When people are devout followers of Mr. Beast, they get rewarded. And step three is finally calling on the viewer to act in some way that benefits the brand. Promising big rewards in return. Now it's your turn to do what Mr. Beast tells you and you will win big rewards. But you actually won't unless you're famous or friends or family of a Mr. Beast employee. So young impressionable viewers are made to believe that Mr. Beast is a trusted authority who can give them big rewards. These young viewers are explicitly shown that dedicated followers or random subscribers like themselves are winning big rewards when they do what Mr. Beast tells them. These young viewers are explicitly told repeatedly that if they subscribe, if they buy products or act in some way that benefits the brand, they will win big rewards. Trust Mr. Beast, watch him help others, contribute to his cause, and one day he'll help you too. During this time lapse on the fourth day of Seven Days Stranded at Sea, you can clearly see there's no one in the shelter. These are their empty beds. But after a hard cut, magically five people are awake and two of the boys have bright yellow raincoats that they didn't have when it rained on day two. And after standing the whole night completely soaked, you didn't spend the night soaked, Jimmy. You slept on the production yacht. So I am absolutely pigging out on feastables, um, and I'm trying to do this. Mr. Beast is teaching us gambling? It basically went on to paint Mr. Beast as a full manipulative demon that everybody already knows that he actually is. You don't become the biggest YouTuber on the planet by sitting on the sidelines, so you gotta give him some credit where credit's due. Well, as of today, it is circulating around that he may have known about those messages in the Discord uh, server and that he may have also even participated in some and that the people in the Discord chat knew that there were minors in there and that there was pictures being posted and just some inappropriate behavior. So it definitely doesn't look good. Um... Yeah, let me know your thoughts. What do you think about this? What do you think is going to happen? Follow, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.